year's chair of the Royal Television Society Journalism Awards, may I welcome you to this celebration of the very best of television news and current affairs. Our first award this evening, though, moving quickly on, is for Network Presenter of the Year. The RTS Presenter of the Year is Julie Etchingham of ITV News. It's a huge honour to receive this award tonight. It's been an extraordinary news year all around, from whether we're talking about the refugee crisis or a general election year, um, the dreadful attacks on Paris. Um, I think all of us here tonight will have all of those uh, stories on our mind and, and think of the people who's you know, whose lives we've covered and some of the saddest moments in those lives too. So um, it's, an, and it's an honour and a great privilege to, to receive this. Next, the award this evening is for News Channel of the Year. The winner is Sky News. Here to collect the award is John Riley. I think it was our professionalism and courage in covering the migrant story. Alex Crawford, one of our key reporters, joined a group of uh, migrants fleeing from Syria. Now for our second new category of the evening. It is for interview of the year. The winning interview is Jeremy Bowen and President Assad. Well, I think it's hard to work in the Middle East and not be stimulated by what's going on there if you're a journalist because it is the, um, it's the kind, it, it is the most, I think, the place which, you know, sadly, produces the most top-notch news stories that there are. The winner of Scoop of the Year is BBC Newsnight for the closure of Kids Company. To collect the award, Chris Cook and Alan White. We're, we're, we're stunned. It's, it's an investigation that has gone on for eight months. It's taken on multiple strands. Um, it's been extremely complicated. The specialist journalist of the year is Nima Elbakir of CNN. When you're dealing with, with vulnerable children and you're dealing with victims of, of assault and violence uh, as we did in so many of our stories that trust means so much and just to be able to get on the phone after this and tell some of the people that we interviewed that this happened it's going to be amazing the rts journalist of the year is for an unprecedented fifth time alex crawford of Sky News. this was an incredible year for news and journalists were coping with uh, uh, an unfolding story which is going to have implications for many years to come and everyone raised the bar. You know there was some astonishing journalism this year um, after many years where we've been sort of not had that good a reputation I thought there was some pretty amazing journalism so to be up there is um, an incredible honour.